Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for being here with me. Another painting video on the way. I'm back to my wrecked ring pour series. So I have been bouncing around series to series and it helps keep my creativity going too, but it's time to revisit. So we've done two so far and I'm trying to do different color schemes with these. So I really liked the um, colander pour uh, that I did where I spun it out, those colors. So I'm using today a purple, like a violet that I mixed from some different colors, a rose matter that I mixed with regular magenta, an orange, a yellow, and a red. I'm leaving out the white this time. I just want it to be those beautiful colors. And I'm going to wreck it this time. So I have a bunch of different designs here. I've already done the kind of squiggly line diagonal. I've done this curly Q one that I really liked as well. And this time I think I'm gonna go with my very first idea, which is a cross hatch pattern. I'm kind of scared because, not scared, but I, I know that I'm gonna love these colors together. So I don't know how wrecking it in such a linear pattern is gonna go. I can still tilt it a little bit um, to kind of make the lines not so linear. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. And I do have some more ideas for this. So I do still have the marbles that I can do. And then I have a bunch of different combs that I can wreck with as well. So combs and picks. So I'm gonna get started. Let's layer this one, let's paint. All right, so I have my colors the way that I want to layer them. I'm gonna try to keep them in the same order. Um, I am gonna start with the purple, but not too much purple. So just a tiny bit of purple in the bottom. Then I'm gonna go with my magenta. I think I kind of feel like doing these in kind of chunky layers. That will affect how many lines come out. Now I've got my orange. I layered this way so that the purple and the yellow wouldn't be directly beside each other because I did use a, a yellow that has a little bit more of like a, an undertone to it that would not react quite as well with the purple. But normally I like to use um, a yellow that is on like the, the redder side, orangish side, um, instead of on the bluish kind of lemon yellow type side. So, all right, back to my beginnings. You know, if you're starting out and you just bought just regular colors, that's totally okay. But as you start going, you start to realize that it's not that colors don't go together or that they mix to mud, it's different shades of them that don't go so well together. And that's all because of the undertones of the colors that are mixed up. When you get a regular tube of paint, sometimes it's a mixture of a bunch of different colors to get that color. Okay, there is so much that goes into color theory and composition, all of those things. And I do have an exciting project that I'm working on with Rinska Dauna that I will be letting y'all know about soon. So stay tuned for that. Okay, here we go. Almost done. I think I'll be able to get in one more layer. I am kind of glad, I'm wondering if it was the right decision to leave out the white. I feel like it is, but we will see. Okay, I think I'll just have enough room and you know what? I am gonna have enough of these paints to do another kitchen sink pour with them, so. I'm excited for that, I love those. Okay, I have my wrecking tool. I am gonna continue using my skewer here for this one. Now I have to decide, look at this cup. How beautiful is that cup? But now I've gotta decide where I wanna pour this out of. I think I'm gonna pour it out of the side. Or do I wanna pour it out 
I think I'll pour it out at the side. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at those beautiful colors. Oh my goodness, look at those colors. Now I do think I'm gonna wreck all the way through this one. I'll see what my center comes out like. But I do think I'm gonna wreck all the way through this. Oh, that is a pretty center. Look at those colors. Wow, wow, wow. All right, I do think I'm actually gonna put a little bit of the purple around this side just to make sure that it stretches okay. And a little bit of the magenta around this side. Okay. Phew, okay, get those colors off to the side. Oh, that is gonna be a pretty kitchen sink pour. Mm. All right, oh, I almost spilled that, okay. And then I'll give you a look inside the cup there. How pretty is that? Okay, and then one torch. A few air bubbles, not many. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm wrecking diagonal to the canvas. I'm gonna do some small lines. Oh, I don't know if I should have done this this way. And I'm going straight through the center. Okay, this looks really pretty as it is. I feel like I should stop here. What do I do? Do I stop here? Let me just do one along the edge this way. I guess I already started. I guess I'm going for it. My heart tells me I should have stopped, but we'll see. But you know what? This is the whole point of the series, seeing which types of wrecking patterns I like, which ones I don't like, which color combinations I like. Like it's, it's a full experiment. And just like with that colander pour that I did, you know, even if it doesn't come out, like it's fun to come out and paint first off. Two, you learn something from it every time. And I, you know, I, it's, it's all part of the process, part of the journey. Okay, I'm going to, now I have to decide how I want to. The lines are gonna get a little bit wonky because I'm using a square canvas. Okay. I don't know, this one's pretty cool. I am liking this way better than I thought I was gonna like this. Bringing it back, opening up that center a little bit and then bringing the design back to the center. <gasps> Wait a minute. One, my lines stayed pretty straight. Two, I love the pattern. Three, I love the colors. I do wish I had had, and I always say this, because <laughs> I like critiquing my work afterwards. I do wish that purple carried on a little bit down there, down here, but you know what? Nope, it's gorgeous. I'm not touching it. I'm not doing anything. I will torch, clean up my sides, and I'll show you. I'm so happy. <laughs> These colors make me so happy. Okay, I'm gonna take you in on the design and then I'll show you the center because I am so pleased with how the center came out. But the colors, I I'm, I'm very surprised. I thought I was not going to like swiping through it a second time, but look, the center kind of still stayed intact. colors are so vibrant. 
Oh, super duper fun. I feel like having any blue in there would have just really taken away from this color palette. So I am so happy the way it is. All right, I'll show you how this one dries. I know I say it often, <laughs> but I think this is one of my favorite paintings. The color scheme, everything about it. I, you know, I was worried at the beginning or when it was drying that I didn't have like another little swoosh up that way. But when it dried, I realized I did. So I'm glad I didn't fiddle anymore with that. The colors I love, 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 love the magenta, the rose matter. You can see the difference here between the magenta color and the rose matter color. And then there's a tiny, tiny little bit of red in there too. Super fun design. I'm so glad that I wrecked through this one twice. I was very skeptical about that part of it. Gosh, I wish I could get the colors the way that they are in person. There you go. You can kind of see how bright they are there. My light is messing that up. And then you can see that center right there. So pretty. So many lines in that one. But I am very happy with this. So this was my third in the series of Wrecked Ring Pours, so I will have a few more in this series to go. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Happy painting. Bye.